Bro, one thing I never understood in this world is a hater, man. There's a lot of haters. Uh, Coach Prime got a lot of haters. A lot of, man, I don't get it though, man. Cause like, that's what people say. Like, and then they love that. One thing that haters love to do is hide behind. Oh, I'm, I'm telling the truth. I'm just telling the truth. But then that same truth, it doesn't apply to them when you apply to. Anyway, man, we're going to talk about all this in one second, man. But before we get started, make sure y'all like the video, comments, all thoughts down below. Y'all already know we're trying to go with this thing. To the moon, Alice! And if nobody told y'all this today, y'all my brothers, my sisters, my family, love each and every last one of y'all. Get your tees and your breeze when you're rocking with breeze tees. We got the Shadur, uh, you know, shirt doing the Shadur, man. Uh, the Buffalo's doing their thing, man. Check it out. Boom. We got several poses. We're going to work on, we're working on that big time right here, man. It's going to be either that one or this one, man. I, I love it, man. Big time right there, man. So back to the lecture at hand, man. The link is down in the description if you want to rock with your boy, rock with your boy. But anyway, it all started with this tweet right here from uh, ESPN, man. Alabama's coach, uh, head coach Nick Saban is retiring. Uh, sources tell ESPN, man. And, and that spawned some tweets from Shadur and your boy, Big time, man. And we about to talk about that in one second. Shadur says, Alabama players tap in, man. And you got all the haters coming, talking about it, man. Like, they, they like like I said, they hide behind the truth. But, I mean, it's a, what, what, the play for a team that went one and eight in the pack. And then, you know, and, and LMAO. Like, bro, Alabama went five and seven the first year. Like, things change over time. Like, come on, man. Y'all hope that. This is what this is what we say. This is what people, they hope that it stays like that. Like, I'm a Georgia Bulldogs fan. I do Colorado content because that's what everybody's watching. But I'm a Georgia Bulldogs fan. I guarantee ain't no Georgia Bulldogs fans or no Alabama fans in these comments trying to hate on these guys. Well, maybe Alabama fans because they don't want nobody to leave. But I, I dig it, man. But but come on, man. Let's be real, man. Jordan Seen came right behind and he just, he seconded the tweet. He said, hey, man, especially if you're on the scout. And this is nothing but facts what he's talking about. Especially if you're on scout team or second team. Like, what you're doing with your life. You don't love your folks, Slim. Y'all know exactly what he mean when he say you don't love your folks, Slim. Hey, come make history, man. And like, like people just like, hey, man, they want to go from the SEC to the Big 12. Bo Nix did it, y'all ain't saying that. But, you know what I'm talking about? When Bo, Bo, Bo Nix did it, when, when he was in the SEC, and 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 nobody ain't know who he was, and then he come to the, to the, uh, to the well, not the Big 12, he came to the Pac-12, and now he's a household name and Heisman candidate. But when they do it, when, when, it's all right when they do it, it's a problem when I do it. That's what I'm saying, man. Like, people just, People just say stuff like, I don't get it, man, but it is what it is. I understand exactly what he's saying, man, and I understand why these two are recruiting because any opportunity you get to improve your team and the people around you, you have to do it, and I'm with it, man. Like, especially if you feel like you're a dog and you can come and play, man, why not you? Why not come out here and play? He walked it like he talked it, played it like he said it, teach it like he preached it. Now get that in your head. That's, that's, that's what that's what uh, Jordan C did, man. He said, I want to go out there. We got an opportunity to make history. Let's go do it, man. But then you got people in the comment section hating on the dude. You got beat on a couple of drills. People, this dude is a five-star I guarantee the people that's talking, they ain't they, they they ain't no Alabama fans, they ain't no Georgia fans, they ain't nobody that, that really won or did nothing fans, and I guarantee they wasn't no five stars because ain't nobody talking because we know that when you're going up against somebody like like that, that's that's elite. Hey, iron sharp is iron, but somebody got to win the drill. So you're not going to win 100% of them. And if you say you won 100% of them, then why are you not in the league, man? It is what it is. But I don't get why people hate, man. I never understood that. Uh, I've always been the type to be like, I'm going to improve myself. But we know that a lot of people come through and they hate because they, they they have to make themselves feel better. Like they have to live vicariously through their college football team, which probably, I mean, listen, man, you're probably going to lose anyway. Like, like I mean, you got, you got, what big up uh, to pack 12 Washington Washington Huskies 14 and 0 and then they go play they go play the uh you know that lose Michigan like a lot of teams is out there you got you got records and stuff Florida State they they had a better record than Georgia what happened waxed 63 to 3 I don't care if you we had we had second we had second string players in too all right and kept on scoring I ain't trying to hear none of that that's what losers do do you know what I'm talking about? Talk about we didn't have this. It's, <laughs> we didn't have this. We didn't have that. Right? Ain't nobody trying to hear that stuff, man. You just you make the improvement, make the adjustment. That's a loser mentality anyway. I'm not going to play because we can't play for the bowl game. That's that's a loser's mentality. It is what it is, man. But like we said, and this is winner's mentality right here, man. Right what he's talking about. Hey, 
listen, if you're on second team scout team, you you are like, like in college in the NFL, yeah, you're still getting paid, you're still getting everything. I get you might want to be second second a scout team for a winner, but in college where it's about playing time and getting to that next level, I can't understand why you. I would I would rather be I. This is me. I would rather be a starter and star player for a bad team or a team that 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 ain't then then that, that you know what I'm saying then to be sitting on the bench and not contributing for a team and just because they win it hey well we win it man so but you ain't got nothing to do with it at some point that's gonna eat at me and it's gonna be like bro I, I'd rather play I want to play that's what I want to do and I feel like the team ain't gonna be bad because I'm on it that's how everybody should feel I'm going to my level of play is going to make the team be better it's no way I could be starting and playing for a bad team but if hey, some people are complacent man and that's what haters be man like that's why haters are haters because they are complacent because they said they, well, they hate because they see other people are not complacent you think people don't see this right here and this right here and they see me walking around six four two or two thirty or whatever with, with with six pack abs and stuff you think people ain't hating on me all the time they do with a with a long hair to have 45 years old with with a long head of hair great career all this stuff man i'm a network engineer i mean you think people don't hate on me they, they gonna do it but we don't pay no attention because it's positive vibes only you keep it rolling and a lot of times hating is the sincerest form of flattery anyway man but just like my man said man i ain't sitting on i i, I can't i especially in these times where you can move around and do stuff i can't see sitting on the bench knowing that i'm not gonna get any burn this year or next year or the next year, I'm never gonna get no burn just to say I'm on a team that's winning. I, that's not me, man. And I think y'all understand what I'm saying. I would rather get out there and try to help improve a team than than to just be on a team. Hey, we winning, man, I'm on the team. And that's more or less what he's saying. Come make history, do your thing, man. Anyway, let me know what y'all think down in the comment section, man. Right, wrong, and indifferent. If you with the buffs, you not with the buffs. Y'all let me know, would you rather sit on a team? If you know you're not going pro and you just wanna get some burn, do you wanna sit on a team? You just wanna be on a team just because the team is good? but you're never getting any burn or you want to get some burn regardless of what the team is just 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 so i can play and get my career done man i don't know man like some hey, everybody's different if you feel like i ain't going pro anyway so i might as well just i might as well get some dubs cool but you're not getting no reps but for me as for me nah i gotta play man and with this with the transfer portal and stuff like that it's bigger than ever where, where cats can do that and i love that it gives the freedom to the player coach over here not rocking with your game you go over here and you can get some run it's just like bayou barbie hey maryland wasn't rocking with a game guess what she went to lsu win the championship you're gonna do better because you own the team man but hey that's just that's that's, that's, that's my two cents man I love it. I love the confidence. Keep doing your thing, young man. I'll holler at y'all next time. Till next time. It's your boy Jay Easy, aka Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Town. Guys, please.